the question is the picture below clearly indicates paralysis of if you can notice over here the tongue has been pulled out and after pulling out of the tongue the tongue a part of the tongue has been deviated to one side that means the in this image since we are it is a mirror image this is going to be your right side and this is going to be your left side so if you can see over here the hypoglossal nerve is a motor nerve of the tongue so when you pull your tongue out it is basically a muscular activity of pulling the pushing the tongue out so when you are pushing the tongue out the hypoglossal nerve is trying is gaining the stimulus to push the tongue out so if you can see in the left side the entire tongue has been pushed vertically outwards without any problem however on the right side the part of the tongue has crumpled or it has wrinkled and this left side has deviated a little towards the right side now when it comes to fra fracture of the condyle ankylosis of the condyle as well as paralysis of the a hypoglossal nerve you need to remember that is the 12th nerve you need to remember that the entire organ or the entire body is going to be or sorry the entire organ is going to shift to the side of the paralysis or to the side of the fracture so if the right side is fractured or the right side is paralyzed the organ will move or deviate to the right side Contra on the contrary if it is going to be a left side paralysis the organ is going to shift to the left side conversely when you have paralysis of your vagus nerve the it the entire uvula is pushed to the opposite side so for the vagus nerve it is the opposite side so if my right vagus is paralyzed that means the uvula will be pushed to the left side why because the right side muscles are not working however the left side muscles are working and they are pulling the entire uh, uvula towards that side okay now this is an important thing that you need to remember now in addition to that so the answer over here is since the motor supply is a hypoglossal nerve you can eliminate both option 1 and 2 like i told you it shifts to the same side so the answer is right hypoglossal nerve however one important thing that you need to remember is when you have paralysis of the hypoglossal nerve there are two types of paralysis you have an upper motor neuron par paralysis and a lower motor neuron paralysis the upper motor neuron paralysis is when the paralysis occurs in the area of the cerebral cortex okay over here when you have a paralysis the entire deviation is going to be to the same side of the paralysis sorry opposite side of the paralysis so when the tongue if you have a lesion of the right side the tongue is going to move to the left side okay now on the other hand when you have a lower lower motor neuron paralysis what is going to happen is the tongue deviates to the side of the lesion that means it is going to move to the side of the paralysis so in your lower motor neuron that means when you have a paralysis which is occurring in the brain stem that means if it is on the right side the paralysis or the organ entire organ will shift to the right side whereas if it is an upper motor neuron if you have a right side paralysis the entire tongue will shift to the left side okay so this is something that you need to remember it may it is not going to be asked so or practical purposes you always remember that it moves to the same side however if the question is very specific of as to an upper motor or a lower motor neuron then you have to select the right answer okay